Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pick a card reading is new beginnings for you. We want to find out what new beginnings are in store for you. Um, we have three piles and in order to help you pick a pile, we're going to reach into the charm box and pick one charm for each pile. Pile number one, pile number one, pile number one. You've got, oh cute, this little, this little high heel shoe, black and white high heel shoe. Okay. And pile number two, pile number two, pile number two. You've got this little, oh look at this, you've got this little tag that says enough. Okay. Pile number three, pile number three, pile number three. You've got <laughs> these hot, red hot lips. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the pile so you can you know, see them up close and, and pick your pile. Pile number one is this card that says New Life, number 39, with this little high heel shoe, black and white high heel shoe, and the yellow aventurine crystal. Okay, let's look at pile number two. Pile number two, it's this card that says Never Ending Story, the number 37, with this little charm that says enough and the green aventurine. Okay, so let's see in pile number three, it says come to the edge, the number 36 with these red hot lips, the little charm with lips and the uh, rose quartz crystal. Okay, so these are your three piles. Please pick your pile and I will see you at your reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We want to find out what new beginnings are in store for everyone, and we're going to start with pile number one. Pile number one, if you selected this card, New Life, the number 39, with this little high heel charm, high heel shoe charm, and the yellow aventurine, this is your reading. Now, right off the bat, it says New Life, and this you can see this figure is is almost like waking, waking up almost like from a sleep and reaching out going, wow, I'm waking up to something new, okay? So that's what I'm here, that's what's gonna happen. You're waking up from your old life and it's going to push you and propel you into your new life. And I also see a mask here and I hear that you're leaving your mask behind. Whatever mask you were wearing, you're leaving behind. Now with this high heel shoe, I'm feeling like your new life is very like glamorous. Okay, this 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 high heel shoe, I'm seeing two things. I'm I'm seeing like, you know, being glamorous, dressing up, going out to like a ball or um like a uh an event, a very upscale event, um, a really nice, you know, five-star restaurant, things like that. And I'm also seeing, but I'm also seeing it like for business, people are going to take you very seriously in business. And I feel like it's also indicating a promotion in the business world. If you're in, in the business world or the work world, some kind of financial promotion. And with this yellow aventurine, I'm feeling there's, it's like, there's so much good fortune, optimism, and hope at this time, because you know, I feel like you can feel that you're on the cusp of this new life. So let's see what else. Pile number one. What new beginnings? Please speak and tell us. What pile, What new beginnings does pile number one have to look forward to? Please speak and tell us. New beginnings for pile number one. One of the cards flipped, but let's, pile number one. Let's see. Oh, let's see what that says. Oh my gosh. But let's see what else. <laughs> I'm laughing. You'll see why in just a second. Okay. Pile number one. New beginnings. Okay, so you have a few, you have several, but let's look at the one that flipped first. And the reason I was laughing is because it says take off your mask, and that's that was on this card also that we were talking about. So your new life involves you shedding any false negative persona that you may have been carrying around or trying to be someone that you know you thought others wanted you to be or being someone that you really weren't or just not being your best self. And so now you're going to take off the mask and reveal your true self 
which is actually your, your true self is the best version of yourself. It is yourself without all the external things of the world and people putting things on you and you know, all the things that change you as you grow up. So when you take off your mask, you become your authentic self. And that is what's going to happen in your new life. You're going to be the true, authentic version of yourself. Okay, look. Then it also says help from above. So you're going to have spiritual assistance from higher powers in transitioning into this new life, this new transformation. Wow. Okay, look at this. Phoenix rising. Yes. So again, you're it's like you're waking up from from a dead sleep from the ashes. And it's like it's like a, you know, <laughs> this is kind of silly, but it's like I feel like a zombie coming back to life. Like you were in some state where you just were kind of feeling like like dull inside, okay? But then you're going to wake up from that. It's like you're going from like a black and white TV to color TV. Okay. And you're rising. So you're rising up out of any ashes or any negativity or any, you know, like I said, that version of yourself that wasn't you, you're leaving that behind in the ashes and you're rising up into your new life, which is your new beginning. Okay. And look at this. It says self-sabotage. Yes. So this is what you are leaving behind. Okay. You, by wearing that mask, even though you thought that you were being who you thought would be the successful version of yourself, it was actually sabotaging you, okay? Because it wasn't the true, real, authentic version of yourself. So once you take off the mask, you get rid of the self-sabotage, and that way you can break through and become this new you, this colorful new you. Like I said, there's this is like the black and white version, you know, dull, no color, and then this is you emerging in this beautiful, bright, look at that big, pure aura around you. So so you're letting go and you're moving away from self-sabotage. You're rising from the ashes. Wow, pile number one. Let's see what else. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that, but we'll take another one. That couldn't wait to fall and to speak. Okay, so let's see what else. For money, income, career, finance, abundance, Please speak and tell us what pile number one has for their new beginning. Please speak and tell us. New beginning for pile number one. New beginning. Please speak and tell us. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning. Okay, I'm feeling this one. Okay, wow, look at this. So the first one that fell says the organizer. So it says everything has its rightful place. Right. So as soon as you start becoming your authentic self and taking off the mask and rising up, everything's going to fall into place for you. It's like when you were wearing the mask, everything was a struggle. It's like no matter how hard you tried, you're thinking, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do to be successful. This is what I'm supposed to do. But for whatever reason, it would never work. But now you know the reason is that you were not you were not presenting your authentic self. So that's why it's like it, your, your, your energy, your, your, your essence, your spirit is energy. So people can, can feel whether you're authentic or not. And now that you are taking off your mask, your new beginning, everything will fall into place and everything will flow a lot easier for you because you're resonating. Your, your spirit is resonating with your energy and with the world because it's the true authentic energy and frequency. Okay, and the messenger, yeah, I bring light of awareness, yes. And that has to do with help from above. You're getting that help to help you go back to your true self, okay? To return to that essence of your authenticity. And you're getting that from above. So you, this is a good time for you to meditate and to um, open yourself and open, you know, balance your chakras, open yourself, your mind your body and your spirit to these to the help from above so that you can rid yourself of the self sabotage you can rid yourself take off the mask rid yourself uh, of the 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 part of you that's not real or the persona that you were using and become your true authentic self because that is your key to success and that is your key to your new beginning so let's see what else for pile number 1 what new beginning is coming for pile number 1 please speak and tell us Beginning for pile number one. Please can tell us. New beginning. Okay, let's see. 
speaker. Look at this. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. Okay, so this is telling me what I'm hearing is that when you take off your mask and you start to live your real, true, authentic life and your authentic self and your truth, you are going to share that with others. You are going to bring that message to other people. You're going to help other people who are stuck in the darkness, who are stu stuck in the self-sabotage like you were and, and may still be right now until you break out. Um, you're going to help them move from darkness, from negativity to the light. Okay, you're going to show them that you're a living example that I did this and you can do this too. Okay, so let's see what else. How about in love? New beginnings in love for pile number one. New beginnings in love. Please speak and tell us. New beginnings for pile number one in love. <laughs> you actually have two of this one over here too. Look at that. So the first one was admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. Right, so in love, you want to, you're admiring the true authentic spirit of your partner as well is what I'm hearing okay because you're admiring what makes your partner unique and what drew you to your partner in the first place so if you've kind of forgotten about that you kind of go back and and remember like the beginning of your relationship and those those things that made you fall in love with them basically okay and if you're if you don't have a partner you're going to meet someone and you're just going to have that kindred spirit and they're going and, the, and that's a sign that they're going to admire. They're going to admire you and you're going to admire things about them right off the bat. So let's see. Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. Yeah. So this is a sign that those of you that are in a relationship right now, the new beginning is that once you become this new authentic version of yourself, your partner is going to resonate with it okay your true partner now if you're not with your true partner and you take off your mask then then it might unfortunately it may or may not show whether this relationship is the true one but if it is the true one then when you change yourself you're also going to enhance your relationship and it's going to lead to a lasting commitment okay with that partner with your person so let's see what else for pile number one, let's see what your spirit animal has to say about your new beginning. Wow, pile number one, you have a this new life that's... Okay, so let's see. You have two spirit animals that want to talk... Or three. Okay. <laughs> so you have crow spirit. It says co-create with spirit. Yes, that goes back to your card help from above. You are working together with spirit to form this new life and to shed your false mask and your and your and your old life. Okay, badger spirit. Yes, this is always a great sign when this card shows up. It says be fearless and bold. Yes. So don't be afraid of change at this time because the change is what's going to bring you success. And last but not least, brown bear spirit, take time out. Yeah. So this is just letting you know that you have the strength of a bear inside of you. Okay? And so just just take the time to recognize and remember who you really are. That is the key to you bringing out this authenticity within. Okay, so let's get three final messages for pile number one for their new beginning. Okay, please speak and tell us. We're going to shuffle and take three. Let's do one, two, three. So let's see. We have... Money is on the way. Okay, well, that's a great message. So part of your new life involves money. Money is on the way to you. Okay, and then it says you hold the key. Yes, you hold the key to, to taking off the mask and to rising like a phoenix. You have to take that step and be strong enough to let go of what's false to grab what is real and what is going to bring you happiness and success. And last but not least, you are divinely protected Yes, you've got help from above. So that's confirmation. Pile number one, this has been your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, so we are going to go on to pile number two and see what they have in store. 
Pile number two, if you selected this card, Never Ending Story, the number 37, and this little charm that says Enough, this is your reading. You also have the green aventurine, okay? So right away I'm seeing, I'm hearing Never Ending Story. I'm seeing this figure looks a little bit distraught, okay? And with this charm saying Enough, I'm, I'm feeling like you, you may have gone through something very challenging that kind of like dampened your spirit or kind of brought you down a little bit where you were just feeling a little bit like disillusioned or down, um, just kind of disparaged or discouraged. And this charm is a reminder that you are enough. Okay. And that you are going to be able to succeed. Okay. Your new, your new beginning is going to be a success story from going from victim to Victor. I hear, I'm hearing you're going to have victory. And this charm is a reminder that you are enough. Okay. So if you've been feeling like down on yourself, insecure, um, this is a reminder that you are enough as you are. And with the number 37, I'm hearing that you have that strong spirit, that, that independent pioneer spirit. So that spirit is, is what's going to help you. Okay. With your new life. So I'm hearing you're going to have a drastic, drastic change in life. Okay, so let's hear, let's see what else. New beginnings for pile number two. Please speak and tell us what, what new beginnings for pile number two. Please speak. Okay, look at this. It says, discover your life purpose. Yes. So you're going to come out of this. And this really is like a feeling of like cocoon, darkness, or discouragement. And you're going to discover your true life purpose. And that is what's going to bring you this new beginning. Okay. And the figure here, you see the figure playing the violin. You know, I'm hearing it could be like a gift that you have, a talent that you're going to start to, to use and utilize and discover. And then that's also going to help you realize that you're enough because it's going to be something very unique, okay, and something that that makes you stand out from the crowd. Okay, so you know what else I'm hearing? Because with that card, Never Ending Story, there, there's a movie that I'm sure some of you have seen. It's an old movie called Never Ending Story. And I'm hearing the song, Never Ending Story. And I'm, I'm sorry, not seeing, but Never Ending Story. And there's there's some there's a line in there. Wait, dream, wait, dream, a dream, wait, gosh, I don't remember the exact line. Something about dreaming a dream and, and it will be become real basically is, is what it is. So it's going to take you being positive and raising your own vibration and, and using your imagination to move yourself from this discouragement and this, you know, feeling of being down to this new happy life. And this green aventurine is telling me that you're going to be healing yourself. The green is that healing. Your heart, heart chakra is going to be healed, which will help you realize that you're enough and to, to start to, to um, develop your unique talents. Okay. Wow. This one flew out. So it says strength that says everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Yes. So it's, it's just like the, the movie never ending story. The little, the little, um, the character basically had to become like the hero, you know, the hero, he, he, he had to become his own hero, his hero for the character, the other character, but also he had to rise above some, like he was feeling down because, you know, his, in, in the story, his, his mother passed away, um, in the movie and, he had to find hope again and find optimism and, and go deep within to find the strength and to know that he that he's enough, you know, and in this case, you're enough. Your strength is there. Like I said, you're a number one spirit inside your heart, soul, heart, soul and spirit is is so strong. So it's telling you it's time to pull that strength back out to use those positive affirmations and to and to use um to use positive affirmations and um, 
do energy work to raise your vibration, to raise it up so that you can start to realize that you're enough and that you're able to move forward and create the life that you want. That's what I'm hearing. Your, your life is going to, your new beginning is that you're, you're going to have the ability to make your own dreams come true. Wow. Okay. So this came out. This is for love. So this is your message for love in your new beginning. It says, sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. Okay. This is a clear message for love for your new beginning. So I'm hearing that if you're in a situation that is not working for you, it's time to let go. And there's a saying, if you let go of something and it's meant for you, it will come back. Okay. But if it's not, then it's good that you let go because then you're opening that space for that new love that is meant for you to come in. Okay. Wow. That is awesome. Pile number two. So let's see what else, what else does pile number two's new beginning the never ending story. Okay, so <laughs> this song, it's like an 80s song. Oh, wow, look at that. It's its an 80s song. It's old, but it's its kind of, it's a weird song, but it, if I'm going to, I'm going to put the lyrics in the description box and I'm going to link the song just in case you want to hear it. But it's just a song of inspiration that when you have to, like when you're in that period of darkness and you have to reach inside yourself and, and kind of generate your own hope and optimism and and um and and know that you're enough like, like that like your charm says so let's see what else so i'm gonna get one more animal message for you okay so you have two you have wombat spirit it says be at home yeah <laughs> oh that's so cute so with this it's it's letting you know that your home is actually you're you're a, you're a victor you're not a victim okay so right now in the state that you're in, that may be a little bit stressful or, you know, like I said, if you feel down at all, know that that's not your true state. Your true state is victory. Okay. So it's, you, you need to move towards that. Okay. And then it says, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. Yes. So this is letting you know, do not be hard on yourself. Like that's what I'm hearing that you were you know, hard on yourself and saying, oh, you know, I'm just not good enough. And this is a reminder, be gentle with yourself because you are enough. I know I'm trying to make sure that's crystal clear because that is your new beginning. Your new beginning is knowing you're enough and using your, your positive energy to develop a new, a new uh, talent that you have that's going to bring joy, that's going to take you into this light. Okay, so let's see what else. Okay, look at that. That that flipped right away. So that message was want, clearly wanted to come out. So it says, do not give up. Yes, that goes right along with what we're saying. Again, it says, discover your life purpose. Okay, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to reach inside and remember the strength that you have and that you are enough. And this is even more confirmation that you are blessed. Okay, wow, pal number two. And last but not least, flow... I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think I was saying go with the flow, but follow the path of love. Yes. When you heal that chakra, that heart chakra, and you heal yourself and you heal your energy, it's going to change your, your energy. And that love is going to start to flow again in your life. And as we mentioned in love, what you let go, something either equal or better is coming. Okay. In your love life. Um, so you just follow the path of love and it will not lead you wrong. Self-love and love for others. But mainly the main message of your new beginning, pile number two, is that you are enough and you're going to start to experience that. And you're going to start to realize that and your life will change for the better. Okay. Wow. Pile number two. This has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Hi, my butterfly babies. Okay, so let's go on to pile number pile number three and see what they have in store. Pile number three, if you've selected this card, come to the edge. The number 36 with these red hot lips and the rose quartz crystal, this is your reading.
Now, right off the bat, it says come to the edge. So I'm hearing that you have an adventure that's coming. Your new beginning involves a great new adventure because you're going to be jumping off the edge. You're going to be doing something that you've never done before. Okay. And I'm hearing that it's going to be very, it's going to bring a lot of passion into your life. That's why you have the bright red lips. And with the number 36, a, a wish that you've wanted is going to be fulfilled in your new beginning as part of your new beginning. And see all these rose petals? It's like, I'm feeling like you're going to feel so um, complete and so excited by this new life, okay? Because there's, it's like there's so much adventure in store. With this rose quartz crystal, I'm hearing that this passion is just making you so like even physically beautiful because your energy is, is very... The excitement that this new beginning is bringing with this adventure, it's its actually making you physically have this, this beautiful aura that people are just like, wow, it's like a very charismatic aura, very beautiful where people are just going to be like, wow, there's just something about pile number three, like pile number three just is so like charming and so gorgeous, you know, and it's something that's coming from within, no matter what you look like physically, this, this is like an inner beauty that's shining through because of this new passion and this new adventure that you're embarking upon. So let's see how number three, what new be, what's involved in their new beginning? What is their new beginning? Please speak and tell us how number three, new beginning for pile number three. Okay. Patience. Okay. So it says patience number 23. So this is letting me know that this is coming close, but, but it's not immediate. So it's, it may take, you know, a few months, um, is what I'm hearing to really start. But once it starts, you're going full force. You're, you're, you know, <laughs> come to the edge. So I feel like, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like a little kid at a, at a, at a pool, you know, where there's the tall, um, diving board. And so and the patients I'm hearing, like you're, you're edging little kids, like if they've never been off the high board, high diving board, it's like they're inching slowly, slowly towards, <laughs> towards the edge. It's like, oh, do I, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? So you're taking your time and that's why you have the patience because you're kind of like, you're kind of a little bit nervous because it's something you've never done before. So you're just kind of like taking your time. But once you finally get to the edge, come to the edge right here, it's like you're just going to suddenly get that that gusto, that that energy, that that um, what do you call that? That um, courage to just go, you know what? I'm going to go for it. And that's that's when you're going to just go and jump and take that leap of faith and go. And it's going to be the adventure of your life. OK, so let's see what else for pound number three. What in career, money, income, finance, abundance, prosperity, please speak and tell us. What new beginning is coming for them? Please, we can tell us. New beginning for pound number three. The administrator. Okay, cool. It says, I walk with a foot in both earthly and spiritual worlds. Okay, yeah. It says, practical, grounded, persevering, wise, dedicated, strong. Okay. So, and it says, leading. So, what I'm hearing is, and it's this is Saturn. So, what I'm hearing is that you you are getting assistance from the 3D world and the 5D. So you're getting assistance from above, from high, from source, spirit, and from, you know, basically higher powers, angel guides, spirits, and um, spirit guides also, and ancestors. So you're getting help here. You're going to get financial help. It's going to come from an unexpected source. Um, so something, you you know, like I said, that you're not, you're surprised, you'll be surprised when you get a financial resource that's going to help you on this new adventure. Okay. But you're also getting um, assistance from above. So things are going to kind of like miracul miraculously, miraculously fall into place. Um, and you're, they're being um, orchestrated by higher powers. So even though it seems like, wow, I'm just getting all these different things, these unusual things are happening in my favor. It's actually being lined up. Um, they're helping you from the other side. Okay, so you're getting help here in, in material ways and you're getting help from above. 
So let's see what else. For pile number three. What new beginnings? Please speak. Okay, these two. Okay, new beginnings. Oh, look at that. So your new beginnings involve children. Let's look at this one first. It says your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. Okay, coming to the edge. Yeah, I'm, he I'm hearing that this new adventure that you're on, it's going to, you're going to, you're going to feel very childlike because you're, you're going to feel like a child again. You know, children are very bold. They don't, they don't, um, you know what I mean? They, they're, they're willing to try something new, even if it takes them a while, like at the pool where they kind of edge towards the edge. Once they get there, you know, they usually, you know, go for it. And, and that's the childlike spirit. But I'm also hearing that children, just like it says, your life purpose, you're going to be a role model for the children, not just in your life, but but other children. So I'm hearing like like kids books. I'm hearing um, like kids programs. Um, and I'm, and then also just with this, even though this is a lion, I'm hearing that you're all you may also be involved with something like where you know you're doing therapy for certain kids that may be you know like. Um, Oh, kids with special needs. So, so that's part of this new adventure. Okay. And then freedom, you're, you're free to do what you choose. Right. So I'm feeling like this new adventure and remember there's money coming from unexpected sources to fund this new beginning. So I'm hearing that you're going to have financial freedom to live, to create a life where you're your own boss and you're living the way you want to. That is amazing. So let's see what else. Oh, for love. <laughs> okay. Emotions. Look deep within your emotions. Okay. So for your new beginning in love, you're going to be able to express and feel emotions on a deeper level. And that's going to enhance your love life in this new beginning. So I'm feeling like any inhibitions that you had are being removed, even in love. And that's why this passion is here the lips, you're able to express that passion now in love, in your romantic life for your, you know, your person, your other half. Okay. And it's getting easier for you to express yourself. And by expressing yourself, you're getting, you're getting that authentic, that true reaction from your partner and it's enhancing your relationship. So let's see what else. Pile number three, new beginning. Wow. <laughs> okay. We're going to take these three. So you have dog spirit. Be loyal. Do what you love. Yes. Follow your passion. We already know that this new beginning is an adventure, a passionate adventure. Okay. And then koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Yeah. And that's why there's that money that's being made available to you. Okay. The koi spirit brings prosperity and it says there's always enough. So that money is going to come from unexpected sources, but it's going to be enough for you to fulfill your goals and dreams. And last but not least, starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities. Yes, you're coming to the edge. You're you're jumping off the cliff into a whole new world. Wow, that is amazing, pile number three. So let's see, let's get, let's do three wisdom, inspiration, advice cards. We're gonna shuffle and pick three to end the reading. Let's do one, two, three. Okay, so oh my gosh, pile number three, you've got this. Yeah. You are brave, you're bold, and you got this. Believe and receive. Yes, you are going to receive. You're going to receive financial support and blessings, and you're going to receive spiritual blessings. And last, but in this final message is you are destined for greatness, pile number three. Wow. Wow. You've got a lot to look forward to with your new beginning. I really enjoyed this reading, and I hope you did too. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.